a lot of people in shock. Take a real good look, Darcy. You can see there are a lot of uh, top brass here from the Memphis Police Department. You see them right there. They're, they're uh, rendezvousing right there by that uh, Memphis paramedic uh, unit. And um, wow, I believe I lost you on IFB, uh, but I'm calling back right now. But you can see it right here, right here. It's uh, an unbelievable sight, an unbelievable feeling. Show them right over here, uh, Southgate. You can see that uh, people are, again, congregating, congregating. Um, a lot of people are in shock and disbelief. Darcy? Uh, Jeremy, as you said, so many people are out there right now. This is a very tense situation. Young Dolph is a well-known Memphis rapper. We've also learned that he has two children, apparently. We're still working to learn the ages of um, the two children. but. This is this is devastating for the community. Absolutely, this is something that happened uh, literally just a, a few minutes mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. um, we've reached out, as Darcy has said repeatedly, we reached out to several sources, including MPD sources, and we do have it confirmed that rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed there on airways. That's the scene you're mm -hmm. seeing in the airport area on the right of your screen. Uh, Darcy, Darcy, when I was coming in just a few moments ago, um, I saw several uh, police units, including a couple of police trucks. You see those barricades that are up right now. They brought in more barricades. They're expecting a massive crowd to gather there. And uh, as Jeremy pointed out, we're still gathering details right. on exactly how this happened, where it happened, and possibly why it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, I spoke to uh, rapper Al Capone on, on the phone just a few minutes ago, and I asked him pointedly, I said, did, did you know of anyone that had you know, a real issue right. uh, with young Dolph right now? And he said, not right now. He said, I think I would know because we usually hear about, as he put it, you know, the, the mm -hmm. little beefs as well as the big beefs that are going on. He said, I don't know of anything. He said, right. everybody is blown away and said that his phone had been blowing up for the last 10 to 15 minutes. There's still so many questions surrounding what happened, why it happened, as you just said earlier. That's why Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre, he's one of the first reporters on the scene. He obviously, we have learned today, he has history. With